hello everyone welcome to my channel my name is evidence and in today's video i am going to show you how to export your anaconda environment so if you want to use your anaconda environment in a different computer or you want to use it in a different project you can export it so if you go to anaconda navigator like this it doesn't show, give you an option to export your environment and in today's video i'm going to show you how to do that and the environment we are going to be exporting is called test. I just created it in the last video. Go watch the last video to find out how to create an Anaconda environment. This video is about exporting the Anaconda environment. So to export Anaconda environment, first you need to activate the Anaconda environment. And to do that, you do Conda if you are on Windows. If you're on Mac, I think you do source activate instead of conda activate. Conda activate test. See now my test environment is active instead of my base environment. And to export my Anaconda environment, I just run this code here. Conda environment export. And I want this to be called, I want this environment to be called test environment dot YML. Okay, now if I do DIR, as you can see right here in this folder, I now have a document called test environment dot YML. And after this is done, I can go ahead and deactivate my Anaconda environment. So I can do Conda deactivate to deactivate my environment. If you are on Mac instead of Windows, you do source activate my env. So let me put this here. You do source activate and then you do source act um source and export. So basically in Mac you replace conda with source and you'll be working on your terminal instead of anaconda prompt so make if you're on windows make sure you're working in anaconda prompt so now we are going to import this environment just to verify that it was exported correctly and i'm going to go to anaconda environment and from anaconda navigator i'm going to click on import and I'm going to call it test tutorial. And I'm going to click this to find the environment that I just exported and I'm going to import it. So I just found an account environment that I created and then I'm going to import it. Make sure the name of your environment, your new environment does not match the name of any existing environment. So now I'm going to click import. And we just let this run. And while this is run, I'm going to tell you how to get access to this document. So basically this document right here is one of the documents that I've created for my videos. And if you go to this website, machinelearningeducation.com slash free, you get access to this document. So in my videos, sometimes I use different documents or I create Python notebook for stuff like any Python notebook that I create, my YouTube videos, any document like this one that I create, my YouTube videos, all of that can be found in one place at machinelearningeducation.com slash free. 
So if you ever want, if you ever want to get access to any of my notebooks, any of my documents, any of my instructions, or any images, anything that I use for my videos on my blog, I put it all together in one place at machinelearningeducation.com slash free. And also I have other things um, in this resources page. And of course you can visit me online at evidencen.com. This is my primary website where I have my blogs. You can read more about machine learning. And let's check our environment. It looks like our environment is complete. Now we have a new environment called Test Tutorial. And this environment is the same as this environment because this test environment is what we exported and then we imported it again using test tutorial under a different name using test tutorial. So yeah, you can visit me online at evidencen.com. You can go to machinelearningeducation.com slash free to get access to my free data science resources. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.